Obama's people blew whistle on Clinton emails, learn who is really in charge. There is little question that members of the former Obama administration covered up and played down reports of wrongdoing regarding former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server to conduct official government business. Yet, even as they acted as a Praetorian guard to protect her from the legal consequences of her actions, at least some of them knew she was in the wrong, but they were incapable of doing anything about it. Such was the narrative that emerged from an exclusive interview between Charles McCulloch III, former Inspector General for the Intelligence Community, and Fox News top reporter Catherine Herridge. Once word got out that McCulloch was looking into Clinton's email arrangement, there was personal blowback. Personal blowback to me, to my family, to my office, he revealed. The blowback really kicked in following McCulloch's notification to Senate Republican leadership that classified top-secret documents had been trafficked through Clinton's unsecured personal email server, a major violation that would send almost anyone else to prison. All of a sudden I became a shell of the right, McCulloch recalled. And I was told by members of Congress, be careful. You're losing your credibility. You need to be careful. There are people out to get you. Yet. He persisted with his investigation of the email scandal and took his findings to the man who was his boss, former director of national intelligence James Clapper, who was as upset by the findings as most anybody else. Clapper, said, this is extremely reckless, McCulloch remembered. However, being a dutiful politicized member of the administration, Clapper mentioned something about, the campaign, we'll have heartburn about that. Clapper was as off-put as the rest of us were, stated the former IG, who recalled that the comments were made during an in-person meeting in either late 2015 or early 2016. But that was nearly the end of his interactions with Clapper about the investigation. He recalled, I was told by senior officials to keep, Clapper, out of it, perhaps in order to grant the director plausible deniability and a free hand in the matter though the egg added that he tried to keep Clapper in the loop as things progressed. McCulloch mentioned the 22 top-secret documents he discovered on Clinton's server, which would have caused harm to national security if ever made public, and noted how Clinton's campaign deliberately misled the American public about the classified material that had been found. By March of 2016, Pressure on McCulloch was increased in a coordinated strategy as he received a letter from seven top Democrats questioning his impartiality in the review. Pressure was also exerted against another unnamed senior investigator that was working on the review as well. That pressure only intensified as Election Day drew near. It was told in no uncertain terms, by a source directly from the campaign, that we would be the first two to be fired, with, Clinton's, administration that that was definitely going to happen, McCulloch recalled. I was, in this context, a whistleblower, he continued. I was explaining to Congress, I was doing exactly what they had expected me to do. Exactly what I promised them I would do during my confirmation hearing. This was a political matter, and all of a sudden I was the enemy, he added. In conclusion, McCulloch was asked what would have happened if he had done the same things as Clinton with a private email server, and without hesitation he replied, I'd be sitting in Leavenworth right now, right now.